Hello and welcome to the School One Network, for college information and distance learning. Yes indeed. So good to be here today with our affiliate colleges in the United Kingdom and Spain. Hola. <laughs> oh boy. He has been practicing that all morning. Time to start the first session of the day. We will be going to the Open Rep University in San Francisco to hear from Dr. G with a few words. Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes with Dr. G, that's me. With me is Samir. Samir has a question regarding the use of creams and salves containing homeopathic dilutions, being used along with the homeopathic medicines that have been prescribed. Yes, Dr. G. I have a patient with skin condition that was prescribed Rustox. I also gave a cream to apply of Rustox and the patient's condition cleared up very quickly. After a week with no more symptoms and the eruptions cleared, I discharged the patient. Aha. Uh -huh. So what is the problem? The patient came back after three months with a return of the symptoms. I am wondering why the prescription did not hold when it looked so good. The answer to this issue was one that Hanman himself explored. Originally he said it was okay to give topically, but later after a lot of experience, he reversed his stance on it. Here is why, prescriptions are based on symptoms. Symptoms are the sole indicator for the remedies required. The medicines we use can be given to a patient in a number of ways, in liquid, by olfaction, by rubbing on the skin etc., so he duly noted this in aphorism 198. I would like to read it for you and discuss it a little, here we go. The mere topical employment of medicines, that are powerful for cure when given internally, to the local symptoms of chronic miasmatic diseases is for the same reason quite inadmissible. For if the local affection of the chronic disease be only removed locally, and in a one-sided manner, the internal treatment indispensable for the complete restoration of the health remains in dubious obscurity, the chief symptom the local affection is gone, and there remain only the other, less distinguishable symptoms, which are less constant and less persistent than the local affection, and frequently not sufficiently peculiar and too slightly characteristic to display after that a picture of the disease in clear and peculiar outlines. Memory is not too shabby is it? But I digress. Han Man's explanation is a simple one. He stated in other places that local symptoms removed by operative procedures, or by drugs locally, took away the prescribing symptoms that are required for a prescription. The aphorism just quoted, is very clear that topical administration removes the visual symptoms, and not the fullness of the internal disease. A topical application can and will clear up skin issues quicker than the internal medicine, and gives the appearance that the disease is cured. At this point, the body is not exhibiting the complete disease picture, and having facilitated a one-sided removal of local symptoms by topical administration of a homeopathic drug, it would be very easy for an inexperienced practitioner to conclude that the patient is cured. Wow! So what should we do with topical creams with dilutions in them? Personally, I only ever use them in certain, acute situations. For example, if a nursing mother has sore nipples and cracks in them, I suggest a little salve containing calendula extract. This both coats the sore area and the calendula aids repair. Yes, I am treating locally, and this is only because the injury is acute and specific and does not require much aid to the immune system in order to rectify the problem. If I gave calendula internally, I would not give it in the salve. It is one of few times I use a salve with any medicine in it. So to recap, we treat with homeopathic medicines for the whole disease only, and do not apply topically which will remove locally and thus make the disease a one-sided treatment. So for your patient that has returned, ask Dr. Lee if he will assist you in reassessing the situation, and then whatever medicine you determine for the patient, only give internally. Well there you are. More next week. <laughs>